Here we go. All right, so we're in week 12. You guys made it. You just have to make it through this last really easy week, and then you can throw yourself a uh, tin whistle goodbye party. I'm sure you'll be very excited. I'll be very sad, but that's okay. I still like the other sections of art. So, Okay, so right away, first off, we always begin with review, and we have a lot to review this week. I am on the Foundation's Guide, page 173. This. And um, again, you can review by looking at Mary, Mary, ha Mary Had a Little Lamb or Twinkle Took a Little Star or any kind of piece like that. But as you know, I don't like to just, you know, have my my paper and go around and say, you know, what is this note? It's a whole note. What is this no, I just, I don't like doing that. It's not very classical either. I really like to draw it out. So I'll go ahead and do that. We can um, start reviewing. Let me clean this board. So we would start off with our staff, which you're going to need for your um, lesson anyway. So, you know, if they're really little, like four years old, you could just walk them through this and just go through it and have them repeat you, but, um, you know, six-year-olds and on up, they should, you know, start to know some of these things, and it should look familiar to them. They should be remembering it now that we keep reviewing it, so it's the staff, and then we start with our travel club, time, signature, bar lines to create measures, and then um, I'm not, just for the sake of time I'm not going to go through each and every note but go through each and every note like your whole note your half note and then ask them so you can draw a whole note and just say how many beats does this get four and then maybe draw a half note you know two and then don't forget about your rest you can draw a half rest and mine aren't um it's not enough beats in every measure obviously so you can make yours correct put four beats in every measure but if you would like but um I'm just trying to hurry through this review and then so go through your rest and then don't forget to add in the dynamics that we learned last week the three dynamics we learned last week um, ask them uh, about uh, crescendo legato and staccato what all of those mean and then you will be pretty much caught up with review and now I'm going to use this for our lesson um, and then the other things you want to review are the treble clef note name rhyme when the note is on a line every good boy does fine when the note is on a space it spells the word face and then um, you can review by clapping with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Mary Had a Little Lamb. Go through there. Um, you know, if they're really little, maybe just go through the, the first line. Um, when they're, if they're older, you guys can make it through all the way. Mary Had a Little Lamb, just clap through that um, and sing the correct uh, notes, like for the right amount of time. And um, review the vocabulary that's not yet mastered. If you have older kids that really should know this, but they're or maybe, you know, maybe they're forgetting how many beats a rest get or something like that. A section that's not really mastered yet, you can go through that one more time too. Um, and then now we get to um, our new vocabulary today, which is it's just the dynamics for volume. And we're keeping it really simple. We're not getting, you know, there are more dynamics than this that are, um, a little more advanced, but they're keeping it very, very simple. Um, so our first one is, uh, I say piano. You can say piano. I know some people put that little Italian accent on it and say piano, but um, I say piano because the, the word comes from the same as the instrument, the piano, um, because it could play like soft and loud. But um, So piano means soft, it's just like a little italicized little cursive it's, it's really bold too when you look at music, but I mean if you're just drawing it on your board You can just draw it like this. So piano means soft and so I have them whisper. We say piano We just whisper it. It's very very soft and then we have Then F for for, uh, forte um, Forte, you know, we see that in our English words. I think like forceful comes from uh, this root right here. So forte means like very loud, very forceful. And then we have um, mezzo piano and mezzo forte. So, and that means like moderately soft and moderately loud. Um, but a lot of people often remember it more as like a medium, but it means moderately. And it explains all that in your foundations guide as well. So you just have 
um, mezzo piano and mezzo forte, just like that. And then what, what I do is I go through each one and I point to it and like we whisper it and then we yell loud and then it's like kind of soft and then kind of loud. So we go through each one and do the appropriate volume with our voice and it's just really fun and it's a great way to connect it for your class. So just go through that and then that's it. That's all the vocabulary. You've reviewed all the weeks that we did. You introduced the um, volume dynamics and that is pretty much it. Also, um... You'll see that I wrote these under the staff because that's where they go in music, too. So on um, the handout that we do later, I'll discuss that as well. But um, it goes just, you know, just like this underneath the staff when you're reading music. You'll see, like, this section is supposed to be, like, um, mezzo piano and, you know. So that's pretty much it. And then when you move into tin whistle, as always, just review all of the parts of the tin whistle, mouthpiece, fiffle, barrel, and finger holes, and um, make sure that they're holding that properly. Go around and, you know, as I've said in previous videos, if they're really, really little, don't pick on them too much. You know, they're doing well enough to show up with their tin whistle and try to hold it correctly. Um, help them. You know, you may have to correct them every time and put their fingers over the holes for them. But, um, yeah, go around and make sure that they have their left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, up straight, 45 degree angle. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, try to get them in the, ha the good habit of playing correctly. Um, and so it says in the foundation, Scott, a number of ways that you can warm up, kind of depending on your class. So um, you could warm up by doing the left and right hand exercise or maybe like the first line of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, whatever you need to do. If um, if you have really little ones, I would just walk them through the scale first. You know, it's like everybody play a D and everybody play an E and just show it to them like this and then have everybody play it and then show them an F. Everybody, we're going to play an F and then have them play it. You can just walk them through the scale and do it that way um, and then go right into um, maybe like the first line of Mary High Little Lamb, something like that, if you have really tiny ones. Um, for the older ones, though, I have my class, we go like up and down the scale and then maybe we'll do like a left and right hand exercise or maybe twinkle twinkle little star or something easy. And then we go and continue on the pieces of music that we're working on, you know, Amazing Grace or some kind of patriotic song. I know some of you are doing like, um, I've heard some tutors say they're doing like Christmas songs and things like that. So just warm up by playing something simple for your class and then get into a piece of music. And that's pretty much it. It also says for the uh, music theory connection, I'm on page 174 now, um, for the music theory connection, do what you did last week with the dynamics where um, maybe you say, you know, for this line of Mary Had a Little Lamb, we're going to play um, piano. For this for the second line, we're going to play it in forte. So add some of those dynamics in there and let them really practice it with their instrument. It's a great connection for them. And that's pretty much it. So I will move on to the tin whistle packet. Um, so for the first part, um, we're just reviewing the um, treble clef note name rhyme. Um, so they can label those notes, label these notes. And then for this part, we are just working on the dynamics that we just learned. So it has the definition right here, and then they just write the correct symbol. These that I wrote for you right here. They just need to write the correct symbol. Again, if you have really little ones, um, do it on your board with them. And I mean, just let them do the best they can. If they don't drop perfectly, that's fine. Uh, for the older ones, maybe you want to see if they remember. Just it, just see how, you know, you know how the packet's been going. You know how your class handles this, what they know, what they don't know. You know, who can write and who can't. So just use that up to your discretion. And then these last two lines, because it says in your foundations guide, that's why I put that on here. Um, on page 173, for under practice, it says learn to play a song by ear, write down the names of the notes, then write out your own sheet music for the song using correct symbols. So um, basically that was the, the, the idea behind this, is letting them write their own piece of music. Um, and so they need to put their treble clef on there and their time signature. They need to put bar lines to make measures, and then they can just add some notes in there. If they're really little, just tell them to draw their, 
their favorite notes. Or maybe you can go through it on the board and they can just copy you. Um, if they're older, tell them, you know, you, that they need to have the proper amount of beats in each measure. You know, challenge them that way if you if you would like. And then encourage them to put um, dynamics on there, like crescendo, and throw some rests in there. Um, maybe make a, a piece of it like forte. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, and congratulations, you made it through. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. And I guess I'll, I guess this is it. This is the last video. This is the last one you'll need. So, all right, congratulations, guys, and have fun.